We may find any easy seat that feels good for us, cow face, lotus, half lotus, fire log, whatever feels good for us. Finding that seat to help us become centered here today. Nice natural breaths as we relax our mind and our bodies. Maybe we can gaze our eyes downward towards the earth or close our eyes. Using the down gaze to help us relax and become centered here today. Nice natural breaths. Our tummies are nice and tight, engaging our abdominal muscles. Our spinal cords are nice and long. Our backs are nice and tall. Our shoulders are up. As we take a nice, deep, intentional breath in, hold the breath, exhale through the mouth. With our exhale, maybe we notice how our shoulders relax downward away from our ears, completely relaxing our bodies here. Going inward, getting lost in a moment as we practice self-care here today. Nice deep breath in, filling our lungs with air. Exhale through the mouth, creating that nice high breath. completely relax in our bodies. As we bring our palms together at heart center, seated prayer, continuing to gaze down, ensuring our tummies are nice and tight. We are working our abdominal muscles. Our spinal cords are nice and long. Nice natural breaths. Using the next 15 seconds to sit in silence, helping us further come inward here today. Nice natural breaths, eyes are closed, or gaze down. Our shoulders are relaxed downward away from our ears. Bodies becoming more and more relaxed. We're gonna hold this pose for five more breaths. Two more breaths. I hear the birds. Nice deep breath in. Exhale through the nose. As we breathe our palms together above our heads, seated salute. Tummies are still nice and tight, nice and slow movements here. We are not in a rush. We are taking our time as we practice self-care here today. Allowing our shoulders to reach upwards towards our ears, allowing our spinal cords to become nice and long, feeling a stretch as we reach towards the sky, reaching towards the heavens, feeling a stretch. Nice deep breath in, feeling our bodies get nice and long. Exhale, seated twist, right side. Gazing over that right shoulder. Holding a pose for a couple breaths. Coming back to center. Palms are in the air. Seated twist, opposite side. Gazing over that opposite shoulder. Relaxing the body. You're gonna hold this for four breaths. As we breathe back to center. Listen how we feel within our bodies. Continuing to go inward. Nice deep breaths. 
Exhale, palms above the head. Fill in the stretch, seated salute. Exhale, back seated, twist right side, gazing over that right shoulder. Exhale, back to center, palms are in the air. Nice deep breath, body's nice and long. Exhale, seated twist, opposite side. Gazing over that left shoulder. Feel in a stretch here. Noticing how this feels in our spinal cord. Exhale, and back to center, palms in the air, seated star. Nice deep breath in, feel in a stretch. Palms are upwards towards the heavens. Noticing how this feels as our chin comes slightly up, slightly gazing towards the heavens. As we close our eyes, noticing how this feels in our bodies. Feel in a stretch, awakening our bodies, inviting anything in that is positive and uplifting. Feel in a stretch. Exhale down, allowing our palms to touch the earth. Touching our yoga mats, touching the grass, connecting to the earth, filling the energies and the vibrations of our environment, gazing our eyes downward. Nice deep breath. Exhale, palms at heart center. Continuing to gaze down, allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum. Nice natural breaths. We are relaxing more. We are becoming centered here today. In seated prayer, may we thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. As we breathe our legs into our butterfly pose, placing our feet together, noticing how this feels in our bodies, we're gonna do a couple of seated cat cows in our butterfly pose. Maybe we can hold on to our feet, squeezing our feet, noticing how this feels in our body. As we lift our heart chakra, our chest forward, chin comes slightly up, coming into our cow. Noticing how this feels in our bodies. Nice deep breath. Exhale to our cat, chin comes towards our clavicle, our spinal cord goes towards the back, tummies are nice and tight, feeling a stretch here. Noticing how this pose opens up our hips, relaxing our hip flexors even more. Exhaling back to our cow, chest comes up, chin comes in the air. Exhale back to cat. Come into center, noticing how this feels. We're gonna come into a diamond pose, which is moving our feet slightly away from our bodies. Noticing how it's not as hard on our hips and our diamond pose. Nice deep breath. On our exhale, we are going to lean forward. We can keep our palms at our hands or we can do an extended pose here. Leaning forward here in our diamond pose or holding on to our feet, whatever feels good for us. Noticing how this relaxes our bodies. Also noticing how this allows our hips to open up and relax even more. Nice natural breaths. Maybe we can allow our forehead to touch our feet if we're able. Nice natural breaths. With each breath, noticing how our bodies and our minds relax even more. We're gonna hold this pose for four more natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling, slightly gazing up. Back is nice and long as we use our hands to push our bodies up to our diamond. Noticing how this feels. We're going to take our right hand and connect our right hand to our feet, holding our foot in our hand. Our right foot is in our right hand. We're going to bring that left foot closer to our body if we choose. And we're going to extend that, that right foot out towards the side. We are kind of doing a seated um, boat pose or a bear pose holding that hand, holding that feet in our hand, noticing how it feels behind our legs and our hamstring. We are working on opening up our hips even more. When we do poses like this, we allow our bodies to get deeper and deeper into stretches and splits. We're gonna hold this pose for natural breaths. 
relaxing our bodies. Two more breaths. As we breathe that foot back into our butterfly or diamond, wherever we are, coming back into our seated cow. Chest comes up, chin comes in the air. Exhale to cat, chin comes towards our clavicle. Breathing back up to our butterfly or diamond. As we place our left hand and our left foot together, lifting that left foot out towards the side. Noticing how this feels in our opposite leg, behind our legs and our hamstrings here. Holding this pose, our spinal cord, our backs are nice and straight. Our chest is slightly up. We don't wanna create any curvature in our backs. We wanna have our bodies nice and straight. Feeling a stretch here. Four more natural breaths. Tummy's nice and tight. Two more breaths. Exhaling our foot back down to diamond or butterfly. Coming into our cow, chin slightly up. Exhale into our cat. As we come back to our diamond or butterfly. Diamond or butterfly as we relax for the next six breaths in silence. Using a breath to relax and bring us inward back to our bodies, back to ourselves, as we focus on self, going inward. Maybe we can bring our palms at heart center if we choose. Spinal cord is nice and long, tummy is nice and tight. Hold the breath, exhale through the nose, inhale. Exhale through the nose. Nice deep breath in. Exhale through the nose. Relax in the bodies. As we place our palms in front of us, we're gonna come into a table position. We're gonna keep our tummy tight in every position that we do, always working our core, our abdominal muscles. Our knees are hip distance apart as we drop our bodies down to our cow. Noticing how our back is sunken, our chin comes slightly upwards towards the heavens. Noticing how this feels in our spinal cord. Exhale into our cat, chest, chest comes, chin comes towards our chest, spinal cord goes up in the air. Tummy's nice and tight, breathing back to our cow. We're gonna do a couple of cat-cow rotations to our natural breath. Simply noticing how this feels in our bodies. Remembering to keep our abdominal muscles nice and tight. We're gonna do this for four more natural breaths. Moving our bodies nice and slow here. Two more breaths. Finding our bodies back at table. Holding this pose, two breaths, building our balance, noticing how we feel. Nice, deep, natural breath as we work on a bird pose, bringing that left leg to the back, nice and tall. As we twist our feet in circular motions behind our body, simply we are working on our ankles here. We want to rotate our foot if that feels good for us. Noticing how this thickens our, our foot. Nice natural breath. And we're going to do a couple of leg pulses here, simply bringing our foot upwards towards the air. Noticing how this feels in our body. What we are doing is we are working our gluteus maximus, our butt muscles here. Our tummies are nice and tight. We're gonna do this for four more natural breaths, building strength here in our legs as well as our gluteus maximus.
Two more breaths. Finding our pause, lifting our leg up in the air as much as we can, tightening up that gluteus maximus, feeling a burn. Two more breaths, tummy's tight. Exhaling our knee to our elbow, holding it in, knee to elbow, feeling that tummy crunch. Two more breaths. Exhale back to bird pose, legs straight in the air, straight to the back. If we feel tired, we can always lower our feet, our toes downward towards the earth. If we have a client who doesn't have great balance, we can always give them the option to lower their foot down towards the earth, opposed to keeping their foot straight to the back. We're gonna hold this pose. One more breath, gathering our balance here. If we feel good, we are going to bring our left arm forward. Bringing that left arm forward, come in completely into our bird pose. Tummies are nice and tight. Noticing how this balances our bodies. We are building strength here in our right arm. We're gonna hold this pose three more natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch here. Holding this pose, two breaths, balancing our bodies. Exhale, back to bird pose. Breathing back to table, relaxing the body. Bringing our knees slightly apart as we come into a wide-legged child's pose or puppy pose. Whatever feels good for us, bringing our hands towards our feet in a child's pose or puppy pose or keeping our hands extended in front of us in an extended child's pose. Hanging out here for four, let's make it five natural breaths, relaxing the body. Maybe we can close our eyes or gaze our eyes downward here in our child's pose or puppy pose. Noticing how we feel in a moment. Eyes are closed. Our bodies are completely relaxed. Nice natural breaths. We're going to hang out here for three more breaths. Coming back to our position, if we feel up to it, coming back to table, if we're up to it, tummy's nice and tight. Slightly gazing forward, we're gonna do bird pose opposite side, bringing that left leg towards the back. Slightly gazing forward, tummies are nice and tight. We're gonna hold this pose two breaths. One more breath. As we do a couple of leg pose pulses, lifting that left leg up in the air. Noticing how we are now working our opposite gluteus maximus. We are working on our buns of steel here. We are working on lifting and rounding our gluteus maximus. We're gonna do these pulses for four more natural breaths. Two more breaths. Still in a burn. Finding pause as we lift our leg up nice and high, as high as we can. Feeling that burn come even deeper. Two more breaths. Buns of steel here. Exhale, knee to elbow. Feeling that tummy crunch. Breathing back to bird. Exhale, knee to elbow. Breathing back to bird. Finding our bodies back in our table. Coming back down to our child's pose or our puppy pose. Extended or regular, whatever feels good for you. We're gonna hang out here for five natural breaths. If we're in a regular pose, maybe we can come into an extended pose, bringing our hands in front of us as we walk our fingers to the front of the yoga mat, feeling the stretch even deeper here. 
Maybe we can rock our body from side to side if we're in our child's pose or puppy pose, noticing how this feels in our bodies. Eyes are closed or gaze downward. Two more breaths. As we push our bodies back up to our table, but before we come to our table, we're gonna do a couple of spinal waves. Wave in our bodies in our low position. Noticing how this feels in our spinal cord. Spinal wave. You may feel a couple of spinal cracks here when you do the spinal wave. Oh, just relaxing the spinal cord, decompressing our spinal cord. We're gonna do this for three more breaths. Loosening up our bodies, loosening up our hips, becoming nice and relaxed here. Noticing how this feels. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to our table. As we work on our thread the needle, right side, right arm comes out to the side. We're gonna thread that right arm through our left, bringing our chest, heart chakra down towards the earth. We can wrap our left arm over our backs if that feels good for us. We're gonna hang out for five natural breaths, keeping our abdominal muscles nice and tight. Maybe closing our eyes or gazing our eyes downward if that feels good for us. Noticing how we feel, hanging out here. Three more breaths. One more breath. Slowly unwrapping that arm. Coming out of that thread the needle, back to our table. Dropping our bodies down to our cow. Exhale into our cat. Come into our table as we flow to thread the needle opposite side. Left arm comes out to the side. Threading that left arm through the right chest comes down towards the earth. Coming deeper if we choose, wrapping that right arm around our backs. Tummy's tight, gazing our eyes downward, simply relaxing here. We're gonna hold these clothes for more natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, coming out of that thread the needle, coming back to our table, dropping our bodies to our cow. Exhale into our cat. As we cross our feet, our foot feet behind our bodies, we're gonna come into a seated position. Nice and relaxed here. Throwing our legs in front of us, finding our bodies in our staff pose. Our spinal cords are nice and long. Our heart chest chakra is slightly upwards. Wanna feel nice and long in our spinal cord. Our shoulders are nice and tall. As we breathe our palms above our head, salute pose. Nice natural breath. Bringing our palms at heart center. Nice breath here. Nice and relaxed as we flow to a seated forward fold, relaxing our bodies all the way down. Relaxing our bodies if we can. Hanging out here for a couple breaths. One more breath. As we come back up to our staff pose, our back's nice and straight. We're going to work on a Sage Marici here. We're going to lift up our right foot, placing our right foot flat on the earth, our knee is in the air. We're going to do a Sage Marici by lifting our right arm up in the air, leaning slightly towards the left. Now coming forward and wrapping this right arm over our leg. And we're going to bring our left hand behind our backs and interlace our fingers behind our back. Now, ourselves, or we may have a client who was unable to do this, we can always offer them an option to do this. That way they know the pose exists. However, if they're unable to get in this position, we can always ask them, 
to keep this leg flat on the floor as we were just doing. And we can take our opposite arm, our left, our left arms in the air. We're gonna take our right hand and place the right hand behind our backs. See that there? Fingers pointing away from our bodies. We're gonna take our left elbow and bring it over that knee, kind of doing a spinal twist. See that there? So their bodies are still twisted. They still look and appear to be in the same position that everyone else is in, but they are not. If you notice this pose allows your body to twist and you can still feel a stretch. It's just a different stretch. And we can go deeper in this stretch by gazing over that right shoulder. If that feels good for us, or we can simply continue to gaze slightly forward off to the side. Noticing how this feels. So this is a nice alternative to give ourselves or our clients if they cannot go into the stage, Marici. See that there? So the class, we are still in the same similar pose, but it's not the exact same pose, but everyone in the class still feels like they're doing the same thing. So this is just a nice alternative that we can offer ourselves or our clients. And once we come out of that pose, we're going to extend that this right leg back into our staff pose, breathing our palms back up in the air, seated salutes, feeling the stretch, lifting our bodies, reaching up towards the heavens, feeling a the stretch there, bringing our palms together at heart center. Nice natural breath as we fall forward into our seated forward fold, reaching down to our feet or our ankles. Relaxing the body, maybe closing our eyes if that feels good for us. Two more breaths, simply going inward here. As we exhale back up to our staff pose, our spinal cord is nice and long, our tummies are nice and tight. We're gonna come to Sage Marici opposite side. Left leg comes up, foot is flat on the earth, knee is in the air. We're gonna lift our left arm up in the air, lean our body towards the right, and wrap that left arm around our leg, bringing our right hand behind our back and interlacing our fingers together. Nice natural breaths. We may notice that when we take breaths, our bodies relax even more and we're able to get into the poses even better. And once again, if we have a client or if we are unable to get into this pose at the moment, we can always do the option of taking the opposite arm and, re and reaching over to that knee. Yes, and the, and the left hand is behind and we can gaze over that left shoulder, feeling a stretch. And once again, this gives the client or ourselves the option to be in the same position as the rest of the class without looking like they're not. So we're gonna hold this pose or we're gonna hold the Sage Marici pose for a couple more breaths. Simply noticing how this feels in our bodies. Or maybe we can rotate between the two. We're gonna hang out here for three more breaths. As we exhale back to center, coming back to our staff pose, tummy's tight, spinal cord is nice and long. Breathing our palms above our head. Nice deep breath here. Exhaling our palms at heart center. Allowing our thumbs to touch our chest. Our shoulders are back downward away from our ears. Our gaze downward or closing our eyes. Simply getting lost in a moment, noticing how we feel in our body. Also using the next six seconds or six breaths to ensure that we didn't injure ourselves or hurt ourselves as we was twisting and turning our bodies in that stage we're reaching here. So we're gonna sit here in silence for the next couple of breaths to notice how we feel within. Exhaling out of that pose. 
since we're already in our staff pose and we're kind of in our laying position, we're going to slightly come forward and come onto our backs, bringing our knees into our chest, hugging our knees into our chest. Noticing how that feels in our body. Take a nice natural breath here. Exhaling our legs up in the air, legs on the wall poles. Invisible wall in our case. Some people can also, can also call this a reclined staff pose. Tummy's tight. Bringing our knees at heart center. Allowing our knees to fall towards the left. We're gonna do a spinal twist here, a reclined spinal twist. Knees are to the left, right arm comes out to the side. As we gaze over that right shoulder, or gazing up towards the heaven. Natural breath here. Allowing our shoulders to fall backwards into the mat. Completely relaxing our bodies here. breaths. Exhaling back to center, bringing our knees towards our chest, hugging them in. Exhale, allowing our knees to fall towards the opposite side, recline spinal twist, right side, left arm goes out towards the side as we gaze over that left shoulder or gaze upwards towards the heavens. Our shoulders are relaxed backwards into the mat, allowing our bodies to completely relax here. Four more breaths. Exhaling back to center, bringing our knees towards our chest, hugging them in. Nice deep breath. When I exhale, allowing our feet to fall towards the earth, our knees are in the air. We're gonna work on a bridge pose here. Placing our palms beside our buttocks. We're going to use our feet and our palms to lift our buttocks off the air. Continuing to work on our buns of steel, rounding our gluteus maximus here. Noticing how this feels. Now we can keep our bodies up in the air, feeling that nice tight crunch, or we can do a couple of bridge pose pulses, coming slightly down, then coming back up. Whatever feels good for us. We're gonna hang out here in our bridge pose. For six natural breaths. Noticing how this feels in our bodies. And for anyone who wanna go deeper in a bridge pose, we can always connect our hands underneath our buttocks and we can walk our shoulder blades towards our spinal cord. Noticing how our hips and our chest comes higher up in the air. Making our buttocks even tighter. And if we wanna go deeper, we can always do a three-legged bridge by lifting our left foot up in the air and placing it on our right leg or just lifting it straight up in the air. Noticing how that allows our buttocks to tighten even more. Whatever feels good for us. If we place one foot up in the air, we wanna ensure that we do the same thing to the opposite side by switching feet and placing the opposite foot up in the air. Cause we don't want our bodies to feel and look imbalanced here. So whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other. <sighs> Relaxing our bodies. We're gonna hang out here in our bridge pose for five more natural breaths, doing whatever feels good for us. Three more breaths. Two more breaths, buns of steel, feeling a burn here. We're almost there, we can do it. Nice deep breath in. 
exhale, relaxing our bodies back down towards the earth. Untucking our shoulders if they was tucked. Bringing our knees in towards our chest. Nice deep breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Allowing our shoulders to fall back towards the yoga mat. Relaxing our bodies. As we work on a reclined pigeon, lifting our right leg slightly up and crossing that right leg over that left. Yes. And bringing our body, our legs towards our chest, noticing how that counteracts our pose there, noticing how we can feel it in our gluteus maximus, relaxing our bodies. Two more breaths. This is a counter stretch here. Relaxing, bringing our knees back to our chest. Recline pigeon opposite side, crossing over that left leg, over that right bringing the body, bringing the legs towards the body, noticing how this counters our buttocks here, noticing how it relaxes us here. Two more breaths. Exhaling, knees to chest. Allowing our legs to come straight beside us in parallel position. Legs are side by side. Yes, we're going to see if we can work on a back bend here, coming into a fish pose. Now we can do a fish pose or we can do a flying fish, whatever feels good for you. You want to slightly use our hands to lift. See that there? We are lifting, using our hands to lift our chest off the floor. And our head the tops of our head relaxes on the earth on our yoga mat. Noticing that there. So we are in our fish pose. It is a slight back bend. Now, if our legs are straight, we are in a regular fish. We can always bring our knees towards our chest slightly and come in a fish pose. Or we can straighten out our legs as well. And you'll notice you feel it more inside of your abdominal muscles as well. We're gonna hang out here in a fish pose for five natural breaths in any fish pose that feels good for you, flying fish or regular fish. Noticing how it feels in your back. This is a slight back bend up here. Also note that the fish pose prepares our bodies for a full wheel pose. Two more breaths. Exhaling down to Savasana, relaxing our bodies, placing our feet back flat on the floor. We're going to come into another bridge pose. And if we didn't the first time, we are going to bring our hands underneath our buttocks and walk our shoulder blades towards our spinal cord. Noticing how this comes higher in the air. We're going to use our feet to push our bodies up. See that there? So we are using our feet to push our bodies up. And I just want to ask that we make a conscious note of how our feet is pushing our bodies up. Because when we go into a full wheel pose, we use our feet and our arms to push our buttocks up in the air and push our bodies up. We're going to hang out here for two more breaths. One more breath. Exhaling our bodies back down. Untucking our shoulders, hugging our knees into our chest. Allowing our feet to fall flat on the earth, knees are in the air. We're going to take our hands and we're going to bend our hands up in the air. Our palms are in the sky. Our palms are in the sky. Our fingertips are facing our head. Yes. And we're going to come deeper and allow our palms to touch the earth next to our shoulder blades. So our palms of our hands are flat on the earth. Let's see if you guys are doing it. Okay, I'm going to go again. So we are placing our hands up. Our palms are facing, are facing the heavens. Yes. Then we're going to allow them to come towards our shoulder blades. See that there? And we're going to place them now on the floor. So our, our fingertips are, placed, are facing our shoulders. And... And we don't have to do this if we don't want to, if we're not able, but we're just going to prep and see if we're able to slightly use our feet to push our buttocks off the floor. 
and push our head off the floor. Kind of like in our fish pose we were just in. So we're like in a bridge in a fish pose combination. And this is a pose that we can practice. And then once we practice this for a couple weeks or a month, a month, maybe a couple weeks, we'll get used to being in this position because the body must work on muscle memory first before we can do a pose if we don't want to cause any injury. So maybe we can just hang out here for a couple of days or a couple of weeks. And once we feel comfortable here in this pose, we can go deeper by pushing our bodies up, see that there? And coming into a full wheel pose. But only when we're ready. And if we're not ready, again, we can stay down here or we can stay, get up to me, get up. Or we can stay in our bridge pose or our fish pose. A bridge pose and fish pose prep is a good way to get our students and get ourselves ready to go in that full wheel pose. Again, we're working on muscle memory. We're gonna hang out here for one more breath. And then we're gonna relax our bodies, bringing our knees towards our chest. Nice deep breath. Exhale. Maybe hugging our legs and shoulders are relaxing back towards the earth. Using this time to relax and soothe. Now on our legs to come side by side here in our Savasana. We're not gonna stay in Savasana. We're just gonna use a couple of moments to relax our minds and our bodies here from trying or from working on the four wheel pose. Simply using this time to relax and soothe. We're gonna hang out here for four natural breaths. Shoulder blades fall backwards towards the earth. Our eyes are closed or gaze downward if we feel comfortable. Two more breaths. bringing our knees towards our chest just for a second as we cross our ankles at our feet crossing our bodies we're going to do a slight tummy crunch here as we lift our bodies upwards coming out of our recline position filling our abdominals working here maybe we can hang out here for a couple seconds if we choose noticing how that feels in our bodies and if this feels good and we want to go deeper we can flow right on into a boat pose if we want to. We can keep our feet crossed at the ankles or we can bring our legs. Yes, y'all already doing it. Yes, or straight into the boat pose, whatever feels good. We're gonna hang out here. We are working our abdominal muscles. I mean, we just got done working our gluteus maximus, so we might as well continue on working that abdominal. Hanging out here, noticing how this feels. Nice, natural breaths. Relax in the body. Maybe we can do a couple of side planks here, allowing our hands to go from side to side. We're working our abdominals. So we might as well go on ahead and work our obliques, finishing off, making our waistline a little bit smaller. Yes, a couple more breaths. Tummy's tight. Still in a burn. We're almost there. Two more breaths. Relax, bringing our feet together, coming into our diamond or butterfly. <sighs> nice natural breaths. Coming into a seated cat cow, keeping our feet in butterfly. We're gonna do a butterfly cat cow. Lifting our heart chakra up, chin comes slightly towards the heavens. Nice deep breath. Exhale the cat. Chin comes towards our clavicle, spinal cord goes towards the back. Allowing our hips to relax as much as we can. We're gonna do a couple of seated cat cow rotations to our natural breath. We are moving nice and slow. We are taking our time here. 
We are not rushing for no one. We are practicing self-care, doing what feels good for us, doing what feels good for our body at our own pace here in our cat cow. Two more breaths, relax in the body. <sighs> nice deep breath, coming into a nice deep cow, using our hands to touch the ankles and lifting our chest up nice and high. Chin comes slightly up as we gaze slightly up towards the heaven. Holding this pose, three natural breaths. Two more breaths, tummy's tight. Exhale to our butterfly or diamond, relax in the body. Coming onto our hands and knees, coming back to a table. Noticing how we feel. Pushing our bodies up to our down dog. Gazing forward or back towards our feet, whatever feels good for us. Tummies are nice and tight. Pedaling our feet, walking our dog, moving our legs from side to side. Noticing how we feel. Still in a stretch, pushing our bodies up higher. Chest comes towards the legs, feeling the stretch even deeper. Two more breaths. As we come into our high plank, working our upper body here. We are in our high plank, tummy's nice and tight, holding a pose. Three more breaths, building strength. Maybe our feet are together, maybe they're apart, whatever feels good for us. Two more breaths. Bringing our hands closer towards our chest. Noticing how that feels, because we're gonna come into a chaturanga. We can lower at our knees if we choose, or we can go all the way down. Working our upper body here, chaturanga. Hovering over that yoga mat. Two more breaths. Exhale up to cobra. Relaxing our shoulders away from our ears. Nice deep breath. Exhale to up dog. Thighs are off the earth. Breathing back to our down dog. Relaxing the body. As we walk our feet forward, complete forward fold. Nice and relaxed. Coming to our half forward fold. <sighs> Flow into our Tadasana, palms are at our side. Breathing our palms up to standing salute. As we bend our knees, come into chair pose. Holding a pose. Two more breaths. Exhale up to Tadasana, relaxing the body. Bringing our palms above our head, standing salute. We're gonna go to a one-legged standing salute by lifting our left leg slightly off the earth. We are in our one-legged standing salute. Tummy's tight. Working on our balance here. We can step off the mat if that feels good for us. One-legged, one leg is up in the air. Yes, this is our one-legged salute. Standing salute. Two more breaths, building strength, building balance. <sighs> Relaxing the leg, coming to Tadasana. <sighs> that is a nice balance and pose that we can do for ourselves or do for our client when we're working on our tree pose or working on our airplane or warrior three. We're gonna switch sides and do the standing salute on the opposite side, bringing our arms up in the air. Finding our body's relaxation here. Once we feel relaxed, lifting that right leg slightly up. Standing, one-legged standing salute. Building strength. Building balance here. This is a nice pose for ourselves and or our clients to get them prepped for Warrior Three. Airplane, even dancer's pose, because it allows us to work on our balance. Exhale into Tadasana, relaxing the body. Noticing how we feel. We're gonna bring our palms together at heart center. Chin, chest is slightly up. We're gonna take our left foot and slightly bring it behind us. 
and we're gonna bring our leg only slightly up. Only, our leg is gonna be only slightly up behind our bodies. Just, just a little bit. Yes, just a little. Unless we're able, we can bring it up higher. We're gonna slightly lean forward. Flow on our bodies to our warrior one, if we're able, slightly. But we're not gonna come into a complete warrior one because that would, come, that would mean to come in higher up. We're gonna come slightly into that warrior one. We're gonna bring our arms out to the side like an airplane. See that there? So our leg is slightly up in the back. Yes, and our arms are slightly off to the side. So if we have a client who can't get into a warrior three, or if we're teaching a class, we can give ourselves or a client an option to go into warrior three, which is deeper, or go into an airplane, which their leg isn't as high up in the air. See that there is kind of low and their arms are out to the side, allowing them to balance their bodies even more. Exhaling out of that pose. Noticing how we just worked this right leg. Our leg is working. We feel good right here. Yes. Maybe coming down to a chair pose because the chair pose is kind of like a counter pose to that there. It allows us to relax that muscle we were just using. Yes, we can do a couple of chair pose pulses. I see someone pulsing it up and down. This is a chair pose pulse, moving up and down. We can stay still in our chair. Whatever feels good for us. Exhaling back to that Tadasana. Palms are right outside. Relaxing the body. Our bodies are getting nice and warm. We're gonna do what we did to this side, to the opposite side. Right arm. Both of our palms are together. Our right foot comes slightly up behind our bodies. We're gonna work on a airplane pose on the opposite side. Leg is slightly up, not all the way, unless we choose to come all the way up. We're gonna bring our arms to the side like an airplane. Tummy's nice and tight. So now we have our clients or ourselves up. It kind of feels like a warrior one. It looks like a warrior one, but it's not. We're in our airplane mode. And if we wanna go deeper, we can always go deeper, bring our arms forward and come into that warrior three. See that there? But for, uh, for our clients or ourselves, we can always start out here. Legs not as high in the air and our airplane. So these are, again, a couple of nice alternatives to give to our clients or ourselves. Noticing how our legs are working, starting to burn right here. Two more breaths. Exhale out. Coming down to that chair pose. Noticing how the chair pose counters that pose. When we do poses with ourselves or our clients, maybe sometimes we can consider doing nice counter poses, meaning a pose that relaxes that muscle you was just using, opposed to having them going from pose to pose and then doing a tree pose. Sometimes that can be heavy on the body. So a nice chair pose will be nice. It relaxes the muscle. It allows our mind and our body to balance itself out. And then we can ask them to come back into a Tadasana. And then we can ask them to go into a tree by lifting their feet slightly below or coming higher or even higher in their tree. Then we can give them the option to bring their palms above their head or bring their palms at heart center or even come into cactus hands. Whatever feels good for them or us. These are just nice options as we breathe back to our Tadasana. Nice deep breath. Exhale through the mouth. Shoulders are relaxed downward away from the ears. Tree pose opposite side, right leg comes towards the side. Maybe it's down low, kind of like a kickstand. Maybe it's semi or maybe it's all the way up. Whatever feels good for us keeping our palms at our side or bringing them above our head or prayer hands, cactus hands. It is nice to always give ourselves and our clients options. We are building balance. Two more breaths. As we exhale, coming out of the pose, standing in Tadasana, Coming up to standing salute. Maybe coming up on our tippy toes. Noticing how when we come up on our tippy toes, 
it relaxes our muscles and our legs even more if you notice that yes so giving ourselves and our clients the options to counter stretch by coming on that tippy toes it also helps build balance relaxing back to our flat feet as we flow to standing crescent moon right side feeling that spinal bend here three more breaths exhale into center Spinal twist, opposite side. I'm sorry, standing crescent moon, opposite side. Three more breaths. Exhaling back to center, standing salute. Bringing our palms back at heart center. Nice natural breath. Bending at the knees, coming back to watch your pose. We can get our palms to center or we can bring our palms in front of us, whatever feels good for us. Noticing how we are building strength here in our thighs. Exhale and palms at heart center as we do a chair pose twist, right side. Gazing slightly towards the right. Noticing how our thighs are being worked here. Exhale into center. <sighs> nice deep breath as we twist opposite sides. Exhale and back to center. Complete forward fold. Noticing how that forward fold completely relaxes the body. And I'm gonna have to switch to the opposite side of the room because my battery's ready to die. Okay. And we're gonna flow on down from a, um, we, we are in a, we're gonna come on down to a down dog. We're gonna hold this down dog for two breaths. Then we're going to come down to a chaturanga. Then we're going to come to our knees and we're going to come into a child's pose. And we're going to relax in the child's pose for seven natural breaths while I set up my charger. Hanging out in child's pose, relaxing the body. Noticing how we feel. Maybe we can close our eyes or gaze our eyes downwards here. A couple more breaths. Maybe we can walk our hands to the front of the yoga mat, feeling that stretch there. Rocking our bodies from side to side. Nice deep breath. Coming out of that pose, we're gonna come into a hero's pose where our buttocks is connected towards our feet. <sighs> Relaxing our bodies. Wow. <sighs> Bringing our palms at heart center. Now we could get a couple clients who cannot sit in hero's pose because they have issues with their knees. So we can always give them an option to go into an easy seat, whatever feels good for them. So I'm just gonna come into an easy seat or maybe um, cow face legs, whatever feels good for them. <sighs> Taking nice natural breaths, bringing our palms at heart center. Exhale. Noticing how our shoulders relax downwards away from our ears. Maybe we can gaze downward towards the earth or close our eyes if that feels good for us.
three more natural breaths. As we flow back onto our backs, we're gonna come back into a legs on the wall pose. Coming into our recline position. Legs up in the air. Shoulders fall backwards towards the earth. Tummy's nice and tight as we bring our knees towards our chest. Hugging them in. Relaxing the body. Extending our legs out. We are in our Savasana. Nice and relaxed. As we breathe our bodies onto our side, we're going to work on an alligator pose. We're going to lay on our side as our legs are stacked on top of each other. This is a balancing pose and we'll also fill it in our thighs and hips. Our arm is straight up in front of us. The arm closest to the earth is straight up our body basically looks like a lowercase l. This hand here is our kickstand hand. See that they're holding our bodies up if we need it. We are in our, our, get, our alligator. We're going to allow our head to lower and relax on our arm. Nice and relaxed there. Feeling how this feels. Lifting our legs slightly up. Our alligator's mouth is open. Noticing how our body's balanced here. Noticing how we can already almost immediately feel the burn in our legs, in our thighs, in our hamstrings. We are working and we are shaping our legs. Relaxing the alligator's mouth, closing the mouth. We can go deeper in this pose and further balance our bodies by our kickstand hand, releasing that kickstand hand and flowing that hand above our heads. That way both of our hands connect above our heads. See that there? Yes. So our bodies look completely like a, no, a lowercase l. Alligator is sleeping right now. Our arms are the alligator's tail. Our legs are the alligator's mouth. Our alligator is hungry. It wants to eat. So we're going to slowly lift up that leg, creating a space, a distance between one leg from the other. Now we can bring that leg up nice and high or you can keep it nice and low. Noticing how the legs, we can fill it in different parts of our legs. We're gonna hold our alligator pose for five natural breaths. Noticing how it balances our bodies and noticing how it is shaping our legs. At any time, if we need to close that alligator's mouth, Maybe. Three more breaths. Bodies are balancing here. Feeling a burn. We're almost there. Exhaling that leg. Alligator mouth is closed. <sighs> Relaxing. Nice deep breath. Using our hand to come back in front of our bodies as that hand pushes us up from that alligator's pose. We're gonna flip on to the opposite side and we are gonna do alligator on the opposite because once what we do to one side, we must do to the other. We want our legs to look similar. We're gonna bring that arm above our head. We have our kickstand hand in front of our bodies and we are going to slightly lift that leg up in the air. Alligator's mouth is open. Alligator is eating. We are relaxing on that arm. We're going to hold this for four breaths. Feeling a burn in our thighs. Exhale and closing that alligator's mouth. We're going to go deeper in this pose, feeling the balance even more by taking that opposite hand and connecting both arms together above our heads. Hands are connecting. Our hands creates the alligator's tail. Our legs are the alligator's mouth. The alligator is ready. We're now going to lift up that leg as much as we possibly can, whatever feels good for us. Tummies are nice and tight. We're gonna hold this pose for four, let's make it five more natural breaths. 
we are shaping our legs here. We are looking good in our jeans. We can do it. Three more breaths. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale, lower that leg, relax. Taking a hand to use it to push our bodies up. Coming onto our backs. We're gonna come into our Savasana pose here. Bringing our, maybe bringing our knees to our chest before we go to our Savasana, whatever feels good for us. Legs are side by side. Before we completely rest in Savasana, we're gonna bring our arms above our heads Connecting, bounding our hands above our heads and our feet are parallel side by side. Our toes are pointed towards the opposite way of the room as our hands are above our heads. And we are feeling a full body stretch here. Completely stretching our bodies. Maybe our back is slightly off the earth. Full body stretch, three more breaths. Exhale and bringing our knees towards our chest. Hugging our knees in towards our chest. Nice deep breath. Exhale, knees fall towards the left. Recline, spinal twist. Relax in our spinal cord. Right arm goes out towards the side. Gazing over that right arm or looking up towards the heavens. We're going to hold this for three more breaths. One more breath. Inhale, exhale, knees to chest, hugging them in. Recline, spinal twist, opposite side, knees fall towards the right, left arm goes out towards the side. Gazing over that left shoulder or gazing up towards the heavens. Relaxing my shoulder blades backwards into the yoga mat. Eyes are gazed downward or closed only if we feel comfortable. One more breath. Exhale to center, knees to chest. Hugging them in. As we flow our legs to our savasana, the legs are side by side. The heels of our feet are connecting. The heels of our feet are touching as our legs are side by side. As we allow our feet to fall towards the side like a V, completely relaxing our legs. Our shoulders, our backs are relaxed and melted at the yoga mat. Our eyes are closed or gaze downward if we feel comfortable. Nice natural breaths. We're going to relax in our savasana with seven natural breaths in silence. Two more breaths. Nice deep breath in. As we exhale to our side, coming into a fetal pose. Nice slow movements. Hanging out here in our fetal pose for four natural breaths. Two more breaths.
softly opening up our eyes or gazing our eyes towards the side, maybe moving our feet or rotating our hips to awaken our bodies. Nice deep breath in. Placing our palm flat on the earth as we push our bodies up to our seated pose. Bringing our bodies into our seated position. Gazing downward. Nice deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Relaxing our shoulders away from the ears. Tummies are nice and tight. Spinal cord is nice and long. Breathing our palms at heart center. Exhale and our palms above our head, seated salute. Exhale, seated twist right side, gazing over that right shoulder. Breathing back the center, palms in the air. Seated twist opposite side, gazing over that opposite shoulder. Breathing back the center, palms in the air. Seated star, palms are off to the side or up in the air with palms facing the heavens, whatever feels good for us. Noticing how our spinal cord gets nice and long as we reach upwards towards the heavens, feel and stretch. Noticing how this feels as we reach higher, as we reach deeper. Exhale, palms together. Breathing to seated prayer. Palms at heart center. Our thumbs connect towards our chest if that feels comfortable, if we're not too hot. Nice deep breath. Exhale through the nose. Inhale, nice deep breath. Fill the lungs with air. Exhale through the mouth. Releasing all the air from our lungs. Gazing downward. Shoulders are nice and long, nice and tall. Maybe take this moment to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we take time for self-care. Being aware of how we feel and giving thanks to ourselves for practicing it. Self care is an amazing thing. Time for self is an amazing thing. And I'm thankful that you allowed me to be with you here today as a way of practicing your self care. I am thankful to be with you. And I am thankful for you for choosing me. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you. Namaste. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. 